In this web tutorial, we're going to discuss a few of the things that you're going to see in the PowerPoint Module 1 projects. Let's go ahead and click on the Design tab. In this, you have a bunch of themes. And so let's go ahead and click this open. And let's go ahead and select this one, the parallax. So notice how all of these slides changed. Um, your, the cool thing about the themes is it'll allow you to have uniformity within your presentation. So the colors will be the same, the fonts will be the same. Something else you might need to change is the color themes. And so in the variants, drop down box here, we're going to go ahead and select colors. And then you have the option of selecting the colors. Um, it'll change all of the colors, but notice that as I hover, it goes ahead, it goes ahead and lets me preview them before I select it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Something else that um, you should know is that this is the title and this is your subtitle on this slide. So you're going to be asked to change the title or the subtitle. Just know that this one on this one is the, uh, the title and this one's your subtitle. And with that, we have font. We can go back to the home tab. We can make this bold. We can change this to a different text. We can make the font bigger. We can change the font color to something else. You have a bunch of um, options here, which you can use in some of the, the same in some of the other Microsoft programs. Let's go ahead and look at a multi-level list or just a bulleted list to begin with. So you have this. This is already a bulleted list. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, and I'm going to click bullets here. Um, that's now a bulleted list. Oftentimes when you have just a, a slide and you have this blank um, content box, it'll let you, it'll automatically start with bullets for you. So you don't have to do that. But if it's not there, just make sure you click the bullets button here. Now, another thing is that you might need to have a multi-level list. So all of these bullets right now are the same level. But let's say this one right here needs to be a second level bullet. Well, I can hit tab on my keyboard to push it in one or shift tab to go backwards or up here on the home uh, home tab and this group right here you also have the option of pushing them to the left or right so that gives you a multi-level list let's go ahead and, and uh, look at this picture right here now if I needed to insert a picture of course you can go to the insert tab and do picture you can do online pictures um, lots of different options but let's say that I needed to resize this image. With this selected, I get that special tab at the top. And I can go ahead and change this to 2. Notice it shrinks it. Um, that's picture size. On this one, if I delete this out, you have a bunch of options here. If you wanted to insert a photo, you could just click this. If you had an online picture, you, would need to, you could use the, the Bing image search to find that. And then you also have insert video as well as some other things, charts and smart art. So just note that if it's blank like that, you have those options. If I wanted to duplicate this slide, I could easily do so. Um, I can do control C and then control V to paste it, or I can come up here on the home tab in the clipboard, click copy and paste, and notice that it duplicates that slide for me. Um, very easy. And you can also click here on their new slides. And then, um, if I wanted to bring this and make this the second slide, I can go ahead and just click this and then drag up. And it will allow me to reorder those slides. 